Okay. Okay. All right. What is happening, boot junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. And we are not in the typical booth today. We are in a portable vocal booth provided to me on loan by the folks at Vocal Booth to Go. I gotta say, I gotta say, this is a roomy, <laughs> this is a roomy portable vocal booth. This is the six foot by three foot model. And I just wanted to give a demonstration. They sent it over to me, asked if I'd like to review it. This is not mine. I don't get to keep it. I have to send it back. I have no financial interest in this. I just wanted to demonstrate it for anybody who might be interested in having a portable vocal booth. When would you use this? The, for, the portable vocal booths are really good if you're in a situation where you can't have a permanent vocal booth in your house, in your office, on the road, wherever. The portable vocal booths are ones that you can put up and take down in a matter of a couple of minutes. So a scenario, you're a voice actor, you're working from home, you have to travel to a hotel, you might bring a structure like this. This one, this big one might be a little hard to bring to a hotel, but you certainly could if you were driving. If you're doing e-learning modules and you're normally working out of an office, if your office doesn't have a vocal booth, but typically if your office is any like the ones I've been into, the offices themselves, they're not so acoustically great. Lots of reverb. Putting one of these together so you could re record your e-learning modules, then tearing it down and sliding it back under a desk or into a closet when you're not using it. That's a perfect scenario like this. If you're a, a, an actor who's at home and you're looking to get into voice acting, you don't have uh, necessarily the space. I know a lot of uh, actors in New York and L.A., they're space constrained. Having a booth like this gives you plenty of room to work, but it doesn't take up any space when you're not using it. Why don't I give an example of how this works by doing a voiceover of assembling it? So I've gotten to the chance to assemble this a couple of different times, and I'd like to walk you through the assembly. What I have here in front of me, my computer, which is on a music stand. I've got a mic stand, and this is the Rode NT1A large diaphragm condenser microphone that's plugged into this device here, with his, which is the Centrance MicPort Pro portable interface. This is connected to the computer, so I'm recording directly into the computer, all contained within the booth itself. So what I have right below me is the video that I'm gonna narrate along to that just sort of walks you through the basics of an installation so you can get a sense of the size of it and what it takes to put it together and put it to use. So you'll hear it in action and see it getting put together. So let's get started. The first thing I needed to do, of course, because I'm space constrained, was make some room in my living room. My living room is pretty modest, about 12 by 15. And the, the, this booth comes in essentially two parts. There's a great big duffel bag that holds all the moving blankets. And there's a second bag, weighs about you know, 15, 18 pounds, that contains an aluminum frame. You can see it up here, the aluminum frame that just sort of expands. No tools are required to assemble this booth. You just sort of stretch it out and it's, you just lift up it. It's not very heavy. You just sort of stretch it out, being careful not to pinch your fingers. And once you get it close to its maximum extent, you just then go around to each corner and you'll see a little button and you just raise up the, uh, the triangular grid up here until it clicks into place. And then you'll know it is all the way extended to its maximum, ex maximum extent. Then each leg has a similar button system that you press the button and you can extend the leg. This is a place where if you could have somebody help you, it would go together much more rapidly, but it's not heavy. Little awkward the first time you do it, but once you've put this together, those legs, they extend pretty readily. And what I found it was easiest to do is just go sort of corner to corner, back and forth, and raise it up until it was about chest height. So you see I'm just extending each leg, and I have it adjusted, and those, those pins are adjustable until you're about chest height. Don't extend it all the way up. Once you've got it chest height, then open up the duffel bag with the blankets, with the uh, the sound blankets, the, I think they're the Producer Pro blankets, the sound blankets that, that come with it. One of them has a window. That one will constitute the door. Now, what I found was the easiest thing to do was to just start with the hook and loop and start about 
one or two um, of the crosses in. The hook and loops are measured to fit on each one of those, uh, each one of those crossings. So you just go all the way around, just opening up the little Velcro, wrapping it around the cross and Velcroing it together. And the Velcro is good heavy duty Velcro. But I did find it's better not to start in a corner, but to start about midway on the, the second crossing. And then you just grab each, uh, each blanket and attach it to that aluminum frame. Where the walls meet, if it's not a door, there's a heavy, heavy duty Velcro strap or heavy duty Velcro on each blanket and they just marry up together and you just Velcro the walls together. Really straightforward. Again, no tools. These blankets are not immovably heavy. They're heavy enough for acoustic treatment, but they're not super heavy that you can't manage them. It's just a lot easier when it's at chest height than trying to reach up way over your head because you can see that this booth does get pretty tall. Once you get to the, the last panel, the two doors, they just zip together. You zip it and then you grab the top, the roof blanket, and you just sort of flop it over the top and it's tailored to fit in this area. So you just slide it right down and it should be tailored to fit. Now, before you, now that it's not extended all the way, now you crawl inside and I found it easier this way to then raise it up leg by leg. Just push in the little pin on the leg and raise the leg and just do that one pin at a time for each corner. Just raising it a bit at a time. It will go up in like six or seven inch increments as you go through. There's a little place to put your foot on the bottom of the, of the, uh, the frame so that you can anchor it. And then you just go back and forth from one side to the other, raising it six or eight inches at a time. And it goes up, uh, fits within my ceiling. And, and then it's fully constructed. They do also provide to you an LED strip light, which you can see above me. Uh, that LED strip light is um, on AC power. So you will plug this in. It's not battery operated or anything like that. And I have it just, uh, just lying here up in the aluminum grid. It does come with a bracket that you can screw in here to make that light a little bit more of a click-in type scenario. I did not do that. I want to send this back without losing any of those little parts. So I didn't do that. But once you have the light installed and you turn it on, look, it's plenty, plenty bright in here, isn't it? Plenty of room to work. I think if I'm not mistaken from, and I haven't spoken with the people at Vocal Booth to go, just going by the website, this just showed up one day. Uh, this, I think, will run you uh, $1,000, $1,100. This is a six foot by three foot model. When I looked on the website, this model seems to run about $1,000. But it is a very heavy duty, heavy duty, well constructed, easy to assemble, uh, portable vocal booth that I think could give you years and years worth of service. And it does not mean you have to build a booth. Now, the big disclaimer about a system like this is these are moving blankets. This is not sound proof. If somebody's on the outside and is talking, that noise is coming right back in. If you've got a loud air conditioner or street noise or a furnace, anything like that, that noise, that noise is coming in. It's coming in. Really what this acoustic treatment is for is to make it so that it's not reflective of your voice echoing off the walls and the ceiling and back into the microphone. These blankets will significantly reduce that amount of reverberation so that you get a nice clean recording. Now, the other thing I will say is this booth did come with a microphone that wasn't this one. I'll switch now to, to show you the microphone that was provided with the booth. Okay, this is the microphone that comes with the vocal booth to go. At least it came in the package that I got. This mic was provided. It's certainly an unobtrusive microphone. So if you've got copy on a copy stand that you're reading from them, or you're reading from a computer screen or something like that, a microphone such as this will get out of the way. I do find though that this provided microphone, it's probably not the highest quality. It's not the best microphone. It's certainly passable. So if this is the only microphone you have, <clears throat> go for it. This is gonna work just fine. But I do find its sound is maybe a little thinner than some of the large diaphragm condenser microphones. 
great starter mic will work for something like e-learning where uh, it's going to end up on YouTube or going to be listened to through laptop or desktop speakers where fidelity is not the most critical aspect of the microphone. Certainly passable. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not as, as robust as I would expect. The microphone itself does have a couple of uh, buttons and switches on it. It does have the bass roll-off switch, which is back here. So if you do have uh, rumble from the outside world, you can flip the switch, turn it on. So I will switch it now. Let's see. Yeah, I felt it click. I'm not sure if that made any, any difference at all. The bit, this button does not have much throw to it. Okay. All right. So that's with the base roll off switch. So what that does is so if you do have uh, you're next to a, a busy road and there's trucks that rumble by or you do have a furnace or something like that. And there's just a low energy rumble that exists in your world where you're recording that base roll off switch is something that you can activate to take some of that rumble away. It will also help. Oops, I bumped it. Oh, can also help take some of the the bumps of the microphone. If you bump the stand, if you're if you're moving on the floor, sometimes that rumble will end up getting into the microphone. That roll-off switch will be there. There's also, interestingly enough, another switch on the top, which is what they call a pad switch. And that switch, when you activate it, it turns down the microphone sensitivity quite a bit. Not sure why you would use that in this particular situation. It's just going to make things quieter. It's not a noise reduction technique. It's You, you may hear during that moment, everything gets quieter. The background noise gets quieter, but also your voice gets quieter. When you go to turn your voice back up, that background hiss that you hear, that's in the microphone, it's going to be there. Take a listen. That hiss, that hiss is always, always going to be there. And I think that's part and parcel to the, the fact that this is very much a budget microphone. There's plenty of other microphones that would work, as you heard with the NT1A, that are going to work great in this booth. Plenty of other shotgun microphones that you could add to this one. I'm not sure who makes this microphone. It's not branded. My guess is it's it's any number of um, microphones that just come branded from China. I, I'm not sure. I can't say. It re sort of reminds me of a Samson microphone, uh, but I can't I can't say for sure. It's just a that's just a wild guess. I, I have no idea. Uh, so what else can I say about the booth? The construction of the blankets. These are heavy duty blankets. The construction of the frame. It is a bit awkward that it comes in two parts. It's a fairly big set of blankets. This is going to take up the whole bottom half of a closet, like a typical coat closet or a bedroom closet. This will take up quite a bit of space. But this microphone or this, uh, this booth having all of this space means that you're not going to feel claustrophobic. It means that it's not going to have heat build up, so you'll be able to talk for a longer time before it gets hot. And you could even have two people in here. This could be a, a podcast booth. Two people in here working at the same time, facing each other, two different microphones. You've got space for that. Now, Vocal Booth to Go does have uh, additional models that are available. So they do have a model that's essentially half of this so it's a three by three model you can get custom printing on the blankets and the prices range it looks like they start probably a little bit under a thousand dollars for the different sizes i'll have a link to vocalboosttogo.com down below so you can see all the different models again i get nothing from this i don't get any commissions kickbacks or anything this is going back to vocal booth to go i just wanted to share it because i know there's a lot of people that are interested in voice work, don't necessarily have the, the space to build a booth or don't have the, the time or wherewithal to be able to build a booth or they want to be able to just take it down when they're not using it and get their living room back or get their bedroom back because they don't have the space for it. It's perfectly valid. Uh, but there are, different, there are different sizes in different price points. But as far as I can tell, they all look like they're assemblable by one person. So if you're living by yourself in an apartment where you want to just knock this thing up and down when you've got a gig, when you want to record something, you absolutely, you absolutely can do that. What else is there to say about the vocal booth to go? Overall, I was, 
I was very pleasantly surprised with how well this went together. It's it's sturdiness. It was very straightforward. A couple of things that I wish maybe were a little bit different. I, I think you, you can get um, grommets so that you can use um, a hook or a carabiner type situation instead of the hook and loop. I'd be afraid in the long run if the hook and loops with the weight that they're bearing, those hook and loops can wear out. It might take a couple of years, but those could wear out over time. I'd like to see a grommet um, that holds the blankets up as an option. I know that, they, that you can get custom grommets put into them, but it's, it's an add-on for it. <laughs> Overall, though, this, is, this has been really, really easy to set up, really straightforward. And I think the pricing, the, I think the pricing is, is, is right in there for this type of situation where, yeah, could you build something like this out of PVC? Yeah, you probably could. It's not going to go together as easily. You're going to have to think through the design. You're going to have to put it together. I even think that Vocal Booth to Go has at one point published a PVC version of this so that you can use just their blankets. Maybe be able to save a little bit money, save a little bit of money that way. Uh, you absolutely could DIY something like this if you wanted to. The beauty of something like Vocal Booth to Go is they've thought it out, they've got it all measured, they know it's going to work, they're going to stand behind their product, and you'll be able to just order it. Once it arrives, you're good to go. You're good to go. So that's what I have for you today. This is the Vocal Booth to Go mobile vocal booth really grateful to the folks over at vocal booth to go for sending it to me for loaning it to me you guys will get it back shortly it has been a joy and a pleasure to use really grateful for it thank you so much now i hope that helped i hope that helps you decide if a portable vocal booth is right for you that's all i have for you today now go get yourself a microphone get yourself in a booth maybe one made out of portable moving blankets aluminum Maybe this one. Maybe. Maybe. But get yourself a microphone. Get yourself in a booth. Record something amazing. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time.